It's called Fourth Down Territory. You guys ready? Let's do it. All right, first down. Eric, besides Clady, who's the biggest question mark on the O-line? I have to go with Brian Winters. I mean, he's, he's a guy who struggled with injuries. He's been a liability in the pass game. He does a great job in, in run blocking, but in the pass game, he, he's, he's struggled a bit. I, I got to go with Brian Giacomini. I mean, again, a guy who is very big, very physical, but not very quick, very, not very athletic. Uh, it's going to be difficult to see anybody else go. As soon as you lose to Brickshaw Ferguson, I think everybody's going to be Conley on their own island for a little while. Yeah, it's going to be quite it's, interesting. Yeah, it's going to be something to watch. All right, second down, which rookie will make the biggest impact in 2016, right? Darren Lee. I, I mean, I, I talk about this all the time. Demario Davis, great against the run, not very good against the pass. You talk about speed, Eric, you can't teach speed, and this kid has a whole bunch of it. Will he be, you know, maybe in a place on an island once or twice? Yeah, but Darryl Lee to me is going to be the biggest guy to watch. That, that's a great one. I'm going to go with Jordan Jenkins. I mean, he's big, physical. He can help you in the run game immediately as well as a pass game. So he's a guy who can, who can help you all over the field, and he can play special teams. So uh, Jordan Jenkins is going to make an instant impact. All right, let's move to our third down. Top player to watch during training camp. This is easy for me. It's Quincy Anunwa. You know, I mean, this guy at the end of the season was very good. I mean, when you have Marshall and when you have Decker on one side, who's covering that slot guy? Quincy Anunwa is physical, strong, and very good off the press. And when you're playing the slot receiver, you don't really get pressed too much. This guy could have a huge year for the New York Jets. I got Jason Morrow. He, the tight end position was non-existent, <laughs> I, I was non-existent for the Jets last year. I believe they had nine catches total during the season. Jason Morrow was injured all last year. There's been questions about him blocking. Is he going to fit in the scheme? He's a, he's a, he's a guy I'm going to watch. Ray, just follow up real quick because you know you want to. Um, we'll watch. <laughs> we'll see. All we'll right. See. Well, uh, yeah, like I said before. Uh, All right. Fourth down, guys. Take a look at the brutal first seven games the Jets will play mm. to start the season. The only team with a losing record is Baltimore, and they should be much better after placing a team record 20 players on injured reserve last season. So I ask, keys for surviving that brutal schedule. For me, it's easy. It's who's playing opposite Darrell Revis on the other side. Everybody is, you know, to me, it's that's the question mark. Are you going to put out screen out there? I don't think he's very good. At, he's not small. He's very quick. But when you're playing press coverage against a guy like Brandon Marshall, I would just run over him. So to me, it's going to be interesting to see where quarterbacks go when they get out in the field. And if I see Buster screen out there with a guy that's six foot four, I'm going there every single play. In order to get through a tough schedule, you have to play great defense. You have to limit your big plays, stop the run, and you have to be stop. You have to be tight in the red zone. You can't give up touchdowns. All right. Well, that wraps up our uh, four-down territory. That was Thank easy. You guys. That's pretty easy.